Welcome back guys to another beer review. Off to Germany again now. I'm banging a cheeky little one in. I did say in my previous video if it goes up, the uh, we got a Belgian beer next, but these are going down too well. Uh, so I don't want to wang a 9% beer inside me. So I'm gonna come out with a cheeky little 5% one from Germany. And this time we've got a Berliner Pilsner coming in at 5% in a free 30 ml can. This was bought in a pack. I'm not sure how much it'd be individually couple of quid maybe uh yeah so i've been to berlin i think i may have had this before but when i went i wasn't doing any of this stuff it was just if i had it it would have just been a case of probably drinking a nice beer so yeah i like the label I do like that as i said before uh let's get this out of the can and see what we get we're gonna have a bit of an influx of german stuff coming up i'm afraid uh, i've got quite a lot of beers to do so I do try and keep the dates sort of going on them. Got a few kegs coming as well. I'm not sure if this is brewed to the Reheinsgebot, the older German purity law, I'm not sure. Anyway, in a glass, it's very clear, crystal clear, as you see my big fat head there. Uh, straw in color, steady carbonation going up. We've got two finger of white on top. Let's dive in on the nose, see what we get. A little bit of lemon. The last one I'd done had quite a big lemon sort of taste in it. The older, uh, well, smell in it, Flensburger Gold. This has got a nice spiciness on the nose. Not so much lemon, malty. In all honesty, that smells almost identical to the Flensburger Gold. So. Let's dive in, see what we get on the taste. Cheers, everyone. Ooh. Lovely. And after having the Flensburger Gold, I think as nice as that was, and it was really nice, this is a lot more crisper. Sometimes you get that breadiness. They can be so bready that uh, it takes the crispness away. Excuse me, I'm gonna pause the video because my cat down here is being a pain in the arse, so I'm gonna lay around. Bloody cat, who'd have them? Me. Uh, <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, lemon, spicy malty not so bready in the mouth uh, which makes it a little bit crisper for me to drink and you're almost getting excuse me that spiciness getting a lot more bitterness in there rather than the sweetness of the Flensburger Gold, which gives it that bit more feel of 5%, certainly makes it feel more 5% than if it's more sweet and bready. Feels very clean as well in the mouth. Uh, another cracking one. I'm gonna enjoy doing all these German ones. Uh, for me, that is a beautiful beer. Uh, really enjoyed it. You're not getting the 5%. I think I've missed half of this review out, I think. Let's start again. Smooth, nice mouthfeel. Body's, body's quite nice. You're still feeling that bit of weightiness to it. You're getting that maltiness not so much breadiness very low sort of on the bready side bit of lemon in there the spicy bitterness is a bit more on there uh, another level to the flensburger that i've just had very drinkable very crisp very refreshing and certainly one i'd happily drink again so let's get back there we are berliner pilsner Highly recommended for me. 
I appreciate that and I think that's really good. I'm going to have fun doing the rest of the German beers. Let me know what you think. If you've had this beer before, because no doubt there's some of you out there that probably has. Apologies for the big fun fluff ups I will say on these videos uh, I get rusty on a Friday after missing them for doing them a week for not doing them for a week I'm waffling rubbish now so shut the hell up have a good Friday night I'll see you all again very soon and uh, cheers <laughs>